All right, I'm at my parents' house again, and in the garage, we've got a bunch of wood, but they got rid of their uh, wood burning stove. So my dad said I can take some of this wood. So I backed my car up and I'm taking some of this wood. This wood is nice and dry and it'll burn better than the wood that I have at the house because it's all really wet. All right, so this is what I got going here. Uh, there's a little bit of firewood, some kindling, and that should, uh, these should be good. Maybe mix them with uh, the other wood I have that, that's a little wetter and this will uh, stay burning and keep the other ones going. So, and I can go back and pick up more at my parents' house whenever I go out there. So I also wanna show you something else. We're gonna go out back over here. I know I keep showing you guys all this wood for the fireplace. So this is just a small part of what I'm gonna be doing. And somebody also asked why the black dog didn't go out. Come on, over here, Zeke, um, in the last video. And uh, I take them out separately so they can go potty uninterrupted, if you know what I mean. So um, I just didn't film me taking Zeke out. I only filmed Indy, so anyway, this is my pile of wood that was here when uh, we got the house. There's a bunch of kindling over here. And as you can see throughout the forest, I could, if I wanted to go pick up a whole bunch of twigs and sticks on the ground and put them in a, in a box and let them dry out and have some additional. But let's go down this little path over here. Cause I don't think I took you guys down here before. It's like a whole other world. Well, no, it's just part of my land, but um, we're gonna go down over here. Look at all this wood. I mean, this, these obviously fell down, but I can clear this out and use this for additional. You guys probably think I'm obsessed with fireplaces and stuff, but, um, and over here, uh, I have a shed. This is one of two sheds that came with the property. And as you can see, there's nothing in them but the wind, I think, blew this one. I got like, uh, I need to buy some padlocks, but I got a little piece of bamboo there right now. Anyway, uh, it looks like this one is fine, but this one over here, I think the wind blew the hinges off and I tried to uh, screw it in there, but it came off again. And same with that one, that's totally ruined. So I'm probably gonna have to buy some more hinges. And Zeke, get over here. So anyway, this is all a bunch of land. This is actually the first time I had Zeke over here in this part. We usually go in the other part of the house, but all of this land, I think I wanna make a huge garden um, in the spring. But anyway, um, I was looking out the window yesterday actually, and I found over here, there's some more wood um, scattered around. So. It looks like I got a lot of wood that eventually can go in the fireplace. Obviously, this will probably have to dry out a little bit. But Zeke's having a good time over here at this part of the house. Um, there's still a lot of this property I haven't even really looked at. So, and there, yes, there's some cleaning up. It looks like there's a old chair over here. And you can see some of the neighborhood over here. But, um, you know, in the summertime, all those trees let me see if i can show all these trees up here will will block the the view so it'll be more secluded the way i like it uh, there's some electricity going in this part of the shed this is a big shed this is just there's another shed in the back too there's some more stuff i want to show you guys but i want to save it for maybe another video i don't know what all this stuff is under here but it looks like it needs to be cleaned out this is actually the first time I'm seeing this. Oh, is this a magical door to an underground chamber? Oh, I wish. It's not, though. Um, I just want to make sure there's no... Oh, there's a bunch of uh, lumber uh, down under there. Yes. It looks like they didn't clean any of this mess up. I guess I could use these pallets for a bonfire in the summer. And then over here, it looks like we have several gas tanks that i oh they're full let me see what's over here uh, that's empty semi-full we got another hose and look at this look at this the uh 
Maybe I can back up in here a little bit. But the shed has its own drainage system. Are you thinking? So it looks a little messy over here. And it looks like when the weather gets a little better, I'll have to come out here and clean it. This must be the north. Let's see, north. That's correct, yep. Because it's south over there and the sun sets over here in the west. So yeah, it grows on the north. Let's get that little doggy over there. Zeke, come on. Zeke, let's go. Come on. There he comes. He's being a good boy. Come here. There he goes. Going right up the trail. So, I'm not an expert, but apparently we got a black walnut tree somewhere around here. I'm not sure which one. It, maybe it's one of these ones. Any experts at trees can tell me, are those walnut trees or is it a different one? I don't know which one it would be if it's not that. Maybe that. So maybe I'll be able to, I don't know if you can eat them or not. I'm going to have to look these up. This is all new to me. Where did my dog go? There he is over there. <laughs> Hiding in the forest. Come on, Zeke. And then what I didn't realize at nighttime, there's a little sensor light here that when I walk out here, I showed it in uh, one of my Christmas vlog videos and it looks like it's got solar. And when you walk out here, it turns on, which is good because if I have to come out here at night to get some wood, the light turns on. This is part of the Death Star that we got uh, when the rebels took over the empire long, long ago. But anyway, sometime me, Zeke, and probably Andy, I don't know if any can make it, but we'll go up to the top of that hill and we will show you what's on the other side. In, a, uh, in another video, we're gonna walk over to that shed and I'm gonna show you what's behind that blue door. So um, be ready for that. Over here, I don't know if this is like Shakespeare in the park kind of thing, I don't know, but it looks like there are Christmas lights all over these trees and Christmas lights draped over there and there. I don't, I haven't really looked into it. I don't know how or if they turn on. I don't know if that's another walnut tree or not. Let me know in the comments if you guys know these things that I don't know. And there's Indy. And there's me in the reflection. There he is. He's looking. I brought him out first. I didn't film it. So today, we got Zeke out here. Ye yesterday, or the last one, we had Indy. By the way, Indy got sick the other day. I had to take him to the vet. He's okay now, though. But um, he had to sit at the vet office for about seven hours that night. Okay, so I did all the dishes, and I realized last night that the dishwasher doesn't work unless I just don't know how to use it, which I don't think it's the case. I wish it was the case, but um, we got a new hot water heater yesterday, so we finally got hot water, and uh, I got to put these dishes away. But I was just over at my parents, as you already know, because I got the wood, and this is one of the dough that my mom got for Christmas Eve. As you can see, it's totally flattened, but I'm still going to use it. I'm going to make something right now. I'm not sure if I'm just going to make a pizza or maybe a calzone or something. Probably just a pizza because I don't really have too much to put on it. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Okay, so the dough here was, um, you know, it's, it's a few days old and it was in a weird shape. I didn't want to ball it up and have to let it try to rise again because I didn't know if it would. So instead of a perfect crust like I normally have, it's more of like um, maybe like a rustic shape. Uh, not completely perfect. It's kind of messing with my OCD, but I'm just going to put stuff on it and, and put it in the oven. Uh, I don't really have too much to put on. I think I got some black olives, some sauce, and, and maybe some, some cheese. So uh, let's do that. Okay, here's what I have right here for my pizza. It's going to go in the oven, but... Well, actually, I put a little bit of tofuti cream cheese on the base before I put the sauce on. That's one of the techniques I do for my stuffed pizza. And I use some of this Wegmans tomato basil sauce around there. And then I... That's the only real cheese, the shredded cheese I had was the Parmesan by Good Planet. So I put... I lightly sprinkled some of that on there. And then my mom sent me home with, with this today because... Uh, she said she bought it and my sister didn't like it. So medium cheddar, I basically just cut it up. And this is what I used to do back in the day before you could buy shredded vegan cheese when you could only buy the singles. And it was the tofuti singles. I used to take a, a few slices and 
cut them up like that and that's how I would put them on my pizza and it would always come out delicious but um, that's what we got right now I'm going to put this in the oven um, temperature is going to be 450 degrees and I'll put that in there for about uh, 10 to 12 minutes it should be pretty good all right I got a fire going here with the new wood it's a lot drier than the other wood so it's going to burn a lot better as you can see this is actually just a piece of bark from this piece right here. It just came right off. That's how dry it is. Right? Am I right? Am I, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Let's give it a look. Ooh, I think that's about done. Yeah, that's looking about done. Yeah, that's done. Pizza's done. I'll put it on my pizza cutting board even though it's a little bit too big for it but that's all right okay you guys want to see me bite into it fine delicious just as i thought all right i have to get ready for my live stream because i'm filming this on a wednesday so i'll see you guys soon but i just remembered i got buffalo sauce so i'm gonna put some of this on it too Very lightly like that. And then we got some buffalo. A little bit more than normal got on that one. So maybe I'll just dip that with my other piece of pizza. I got a little bit more there. Mm, mm, mm. Go. Yeah, it's pitch black out here. It's very foggy too. So the flashlight looks pretty cool. Like a lightsaber almost. <laughs> We got a dog right there. So I, I fell asleep last night before I closed the video out. So I guess I'm closing the video out right now. So thumbs up if you like it. Let me know in the comments below if you like these vlog style videos because I'm kind of enjoying doing them. And subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I, the camera's over here.